for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome to my series of videos on HTML5. In this introduction video, we're going to talk about just some of the basics overview of HTML5 and some of the things we're going to look at in other videos. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to set the doc type correctly. And you're going to see here's the new doc type for HTML5, much simpler than other doc types that we've had to type out in the uh, past. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people just simply copied and pasted them in there because they were so long and cumbersome to type in. But now the doc type is simply HTML. So very simple, very easy to remember. Now, I'm actually using Adobe Dreamweaver here and it's the uh, CS5 version. If you have the CS5 version of Adobe Dreamweaver and you want to start coding in HTML5, you need to go to Adobe's website and you need to install the HTML5 coder extension. So again, go to Adobe's website and install that and you'll be able to create HTML5 documents and work with HTML5 documents. And after uh, that has been installed, all you have to do really is go to File, New, and inside of new, you'll select HTML. I'm going to select none for my layout. You're going to see under doc type, I have HTML5 as one of my options. I'm going to go ahead and click create there. And you'll see it created me a new blank page. And there's my HTML5 doc type for me. So I'm going to go ahead and close that back on out. So remember to set your doc type correctly in your HTML5 documents. The next thing that we're going to talk about in this series of videos is going to be some of the new content markup tags or structural semantic tags. And these are things like the header tag to identify header content, the H group tag to group different headings together. For instance, here I have an H group, and this is grouping the main page title together with a secondary title, so I know those two items go together. We also have the nav tag to hold navigation and the footer tag, if I scroll down here to the bottom really quickly, to hold footing information. That's been um, waited for for a long time. And then we have several um, other um, content tags, such as the section tag, which groups a set of thematically grouped uh, content together. We have the article tag for blog articles or magazine articles or any kind of grouped content. And then we have the aside tag. The aside tag will allow you to put um, side comments in. Then we're also going to talk about another new metadata tag that's contained inside of HTML5. That's going to be the time tag. And the time tag will allow you to specify a date or a time inside of HTML. And the browser, since you're using this new HTML tag, the browser will be aware that this content actually is a time. And that is worth um, highlighting here at this point. If you are going to start working with HTML, you need to, do need to be working with an up-to-date browser. So I would recommend that you go either download the latest version of Firefox or Google Chrome before you start doing um, some of these exercises. Apple Safari also has pretty good support for um, HTML5, but not as good as Chrome or Firefox at this time. In addition, if you work with Firefox plugins, there are a lot of Firefox plugins for HTML5 coders now at this point as well. So that's another advantage of using uh, Firefox. So we'll be talking about the time tag in a future video. And then three things that a lot of people are talking about inside of HTML5 right now are the canvas tag for new drawings, the audio tag that will allow you to embed audio elements, and the video tag, which will allow you to play video directly in the browser without um, a plugin. So we'll have a video or a couple of videos on the canvas tag and a video on using the audio tag and on using the video tag. So that's sort of the highlights of the new HTML5 um, 
set up and some of the videos that we're going to be creating a little bit in the future to show you some of these features. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.